Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Day After Podcast. Hi, diddly ho, Survivor Renos. Here we are uh, with another one of the uh, season three uh, series two. We're doing uh, a, a new one here on the channel. Uh, we're doing Unsung Heroes. Yes, um, this is a uh, full disclosure, guys. This one was tricky because our tri- our criteria was um, we had to choose someone that was either under edited or not really talked about. And the thing is, that can be a little bit in, uh, that's something that can be, you know, that's perspective based. Mm-hmm. And also it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's like so, also for some of the older ones, we, both of us weren't really Survivor fans during that time. Also internet mm-hmm. wasn't as big. So it might be hard to be like, oh, like the big, um, how popular these characters or people were actually during that time. So mm-hmm. it was like also tricky because it was like, wait, but do they, are they, you know, unsung mm-hmm. or, you know, so like my criteria for this, or like for me, you're going to see a lot of people from really big seasons. It's just, they're not the biggest per- people from that season. And I think yeah. that's kind of like, the big theme of what i got yeah i did a lot of that too uh some of the people like i think were really maybe like they could have been great characters or anything but they were on a season with someone that dominated the edit or something like that and uh by doing so i think they lost a lot of screen time that they should have had yeah uh yeah and you know i think one of the best things about this season is i'd say other than like two or three people maybe four, these are pretty much all new people. I'd say the only, I'd say, I know for a fact, um, I've used uh, Ali and Jeffra. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've used Sierra before. I know she's been talked about on our channel before. Yeah, it's one of those things, she she might've been in the Hunger Games. Uh, I I don't think she's been in anything else. I don't even think she she, she was in Hunger Games. She is also the only person on here that's played Survivor twice. That is another thing. Uh, But, you know, I'll save my commentary for Sierra once we get to her. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Uh, this is almost a second chance. uh, For pretty much everyone. For everyone but Sierra. (laughs) Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So I have the pink team. And first up, we got Adam Gentry from survivor cook islands now when i was re-watching this was another um frame of reference for me was that you know adam was a good player he was mm-hmm. also the final like guy left on his original tribe which says a lot because you know it, it was a big season there were it was tough um you know but he ended up on a team that was losing a lot And, you know, he was up against a four-person alliance that had, like, an idol. And, like, you know, he really, really had to, like, dig deep for it. Um, Yeah, he had, a like, I wouldn't say a nice love story, but he had a love story with uh, Candace, who's been brought back multiple times. Um, So it's interesting that Adam doesn't really get um, talked about much. Granted, Cook Island, like... (laughs) You have Yule, you have Parvati, you have uh, you have uh, Penner, you have so many big characters from this. Some that have some that are you know still from that season that haven't been brought back, like uh, Becky or Cowboy yeah. or Sundra. Billy, uh, Sundra. Like you know, there it's just like a solid stack cast. And I think one of the mm-hmm. downfalls of him is that you know he's the hot you know big guy. Mm-hmm. uh and you know he can be considered a little generic so yeah. maybe that's part of the reason why yeah and remember he's also the only person on that season to beat ozzy in an individual immunity challenge true and everyone true. ozzy wins all the other ones except for the one that adam wins um he's also the last remaining person from the raro tribe like yeah exactly you know? <laughs> so um, he makes it very very far in that regard but yeah i uh i agree he uh you could definitely tell that he wasn't going to upset the I-24. <laughs> yeah, definitely in my book, an unsung hero. Yeah. All right, next up, not a stranger to this channel, we have Allie Elliott from Triple H. Um, I love Allie. 
I, I thought she mm-hmm. was definitely going to be the winner. Like, yeah. you know, I, it was between her and Ryan and Ryan only got chosen because we shared the same name. Uh, <laughs> you, um, yeah, but, you have the same archetype going on. <laughs> exactly. Ryan. exactly. Um, so, you know, like for when I saw Ali, I'm like, all right, she's smart, she's driven. Um, you know, I thought she was a great representation for the Hustler tribe. And, you know, she did pretty well. It was just when tribe swapped, she was just on the wrong side of the numbers. And I feel like it was a shame that, you know, she got cut. Also, Mm -hmm. with this season, it may not be one of the highest regard, but there's a lot of like great people within this season. Um, Mm -hmm. Like the top three, like um, Devon. Um, Yeah, Devon. Uh, Devon, You got uh, Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, uh, Joe, I forget this yeah. joe's last name there's yeah. like 80 joes <laughs> uh yeah joe mena joe mena um, um uh, lauren rimmer is uh, uh, another uh person though could, could have probably been on this list too if we wanted <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. um but yeah so um i thought you know this is a great way to like have her in again especially since in our uh past season she hasn't done too well well she did well once and then you know mm-hmm. it, I would like to see her do good. I'd say on my team, I think she's the person I'm rooting for most. Cool. All right, next up, we got Alexis Jones from uh, Fans vs. Favorites 1, Micronesia. Micronesia, a lot of the fans kind of like, you know, fall to the side. Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, whenever you have like a split team of like all returnees and, you know, fans or loved ones or what have you, Mm -hmm. you know, obviously we remember the people we remember more. Um, and Alexis does play a big role in it. It's just Mm -hmm. that she's not talked about as much because, you know, you have Farvity, you have, um, all these returning players and, you know, if we're talking about fans, we have Eric and we got Natalie Bolton, who are like, you know, the be- probably the highest regards of the fans from that season. I'd say from both seasons in terms of the fa- fans, honestly, like uh, even for Caramon, I think those two are like still at the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is that is true. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, I was like, Al- you know, I feel like she was more of a threat than was let on because motivational speaker talking to someone and creating perception and narrative, especially when it comes to like, you know, public speaking and, you know, final tribal, especially in a very crazy season where you're going to be next to someone else who has kind of a similar resume to you, you know, like, if not, maybe better, you have to like really be good with your words. And I think she was Mm -hmm. perceived as a threat, but us as an audience didn't really see it as much yeah yeah uh she was also someone i was considering too actually uh because uh yeah you know the her alliance is stacked and so and she's the you know the one that goes out first before that the rest of the alliance um yeah and she gets definitely much less edits compared comparatively (laughs) yeah yeah all right next up we got Brandon Quinton from Survivor Africa. Now, like I said, I wasn't, I didn't watch Survivor at this time, so I don't know how big his public um, perception was. But, you know, like when we're talking about Survivor Af- Africa or old school Survivor, I feel like Brandon kind of goes under the radar a bit. One of my favorite moments from Africa was like the little I, I went uh, movie date with uh, Frank. Frank mm-hmm. and Frank, I might add, is I feel an underrated villain um, yeah. for early Survivor. Um, you know, yeah, I feel I, like... I, I, yeah, his dynamic with Brandon was very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, I feel Brandon, um, you know, he had a decent enough social game. Um, he didn't... He made it, like, closer to, the, like, the halfway mark of everything. And mm. especially in old school Survivor, when you're, like, original team how they do really affects uh you know the merge and stuff Mm -hmm. um yeah it's i feel like it says a little bit more about him uh than what's on the surface that's nice yeah um i'm excited he's the uh 
from the earliest season, I believe, on the se- uh, this season here. Uh, yeah. I think the uh, next highest is, uh, or lo- lowest is Dara at a uh, Pearl Island, but we'll get to her later. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, because kind of what I did for this list was I went from the earliest. Uh, I went on CBS.com and I was went through every season. I'm like, all right, how old do I remember them? Yeah. Okay, maybe not so much. Why is that? Um, yeah. And that's. So uh, Brendan was uh, one of the first people on this list. So was someone from Australia, but he got uh, he he got cut. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I did the list by going through this brand steel actually, and just going through each of the seasons one by one, and being like, okay, who's who's someone I like that uh, didn't get represented as much as I wanted. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Next up, we got Brendan from. All right, this might be a little. Was he in Gabon or was he in? Uh... Okay, I'm so glad you're saying this because you have the two people who I think are like the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got Brent. Well, yes. Uh, that was like a thought. Was this uh, because they also went from back to back seasons too, yeah. which makes it a little harder because yeah. they're both. I, so I think I think he's good, but I think no, no, he's token teens. He's token teens. Token teens. I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Marcus was the one uh, from Gabon, and Charlie had a crush on him uh, in the pre-merge. I remember. Yeah, I remember sure. that. Yes. All right. I just wanted to have that cemented down, so Ryan, <laughs> the wrong thing about the wrong person. Yes. So Brendan was one of the first people to like try and use that uh dual um exile thing to um his advantage and come with an alliance uh the only thing was that he was a pretty early boot and that's mostly because of um you know them realizing he was a threat and he was Mm -hmm. also on a team that was winning a lot and when you're on a team that wins a lot you don't get much screen time as a result Mm-hmm. um and also we're talking about token genes one of the you know one of the, you know the greatest seasons of survivor and uh yeah there's a lot of big personalities on there and i feel yeah. brendan is one of those people that just kind of got pushed aside because you got coach you got um Steven, you got JT, JT, Taj. Taj, Taj, like debatable Aaron Aaron mm-hmm. was a contender for this list um but I mean like I felt like she had enough to credit um not being unsung hero mm-hmm. but like yeah there was um so I was like all right Brendan you're <laughs> um here's your chance mm-hmm. um because I feel like he was smart he was just uh you know nicked a little early because of him being too good yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot of people. I think uh, we'll probably see a trend of people who go before they should have gone, and it's uh, you know because that does impact how Survivor wants to show you. Like if you're not going to exactly. make it as far as you know the the eventual finalists and winners, like they're going to show those people over you, <laughs> the person who's the yeah. first jury member or right before the merge. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up. We got also from uh, Survivor Token Genes, we got mm-hmm. Debbie. Now, th- when I first started like watching, watching Survivor, not just like it being on and me catching episodes, um, it was Debbie's elimination episode. Um, and, you know, rewatching it um, and everything, I'm like, you know, Debbie is kind of like, I'd say that there to kind of like, calm coach down a little bit bring Mm -hmm. him down from like you know coach's big ego and personality Mm -hmm. um as well as kind of like you know his right hand man or woman at the same time and um yeah i feel like um kind of like with her profession being a principal and stuff like you know having like that leadership mentality and everything like i feel she was I feel like if Coach was eliminated earlier on, we could have seen a much different side of Debbie. Yeah, I I kind of always looked at Debbie um, as kind of the the, the Trish, uh, you know, how Trish was like the the 
side thing for Tony and uh, Kanyan. Yeah. I always kind of looked at their pairing almost very similar in that regard. Obviously, you know, for coach, their side loses in the end. Uh, yeah. But um, I, I think my the most memorable thing I remember for her, honestly, is the survivor auction where she just can't count. <laughs> um, I forgot about that because like, little side thing because that's a rubber auction everything gets overshadowed by uh, the thing with Taj at the end yeah um yeah yeah like, one of my favorite pastimes is to just watch a bunch of survivor auctions if I got nothing else to do because those are they need to come back they're they're great I know I know because you know it reminds me of LA you know ridiculous amounts of money for very small portions yeah pay like five hundred dollars for a donut exactly Exactly. All right. Next up, we got Jeffra Bland. And I also find it funny that unsung hero, her last name is Bland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she's not Bland. She has a little flavor. Um, yeah. You know, like she was a bit smarter. And like Tony was someone that realized that, you know, when they got deeper into the merge, saw yeah. that Jeffra was a threat and, you know, eliminated her um definitely i feel it and kagayan one of the biggest uh pool of survivors to come like from that season um when it comes to like returnees and stuff for um i'd say like new school survivor definitely one they love to uh bring back hell um mm -hmm. second chance what we're using yeah didn't they have like four or five yeah 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 they had four or two on each tribe <laughs> exactly yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, it's one of the best seasons. So they're going to, you know, any chance they can to put someone from Kagi on onto a season, they're yeah. going to try to put someone from Kagi on on that season. <laughs> and I feel that's part of the reason she's an unsung hero is because you have so many great people, kind of like with Token Sheens, where, and like with Adam, with, um, you know, Cook Islands, and you mm -hmm. just kind of fall to the side because there are so many great players in that season. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Um, uh, I think she made it to the mer like like was one of the first jury members, right? To the last time she played, she made it. She made it a little bit further than that because Morgan yeah. was the first jury member. No, no, I'm saying about uh, when she played on our Brant Steel. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think she I she was like one of the she she I know she made the jury, but I can't remember. I I don't think she made it like super deep. No. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see how uh, things pan out yeah. for this. And also, I should also correct, uh, it was Sarah was the first jury member on Kagiyan. Yeah, I, I realized that soon after I said that. Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're all good. Um, Bad, Ryan. Um, <laughs> all right, next up, we have Jennifer Brown. And I feel like her she gets a bad rep in the sense of, like, even I fell victim to this because what I remembered her as was the person that kind of gave up without really giving up. Yeah. And that was like my lasting impression of her. Yeah. Until I did the rewatch. But when you rewatch uh, Worlds Apart, you realize oh, yeah. that, oh shit, she's actually a lot smarter than uh, she looks. Oh, yeah. You know, finding idols, no one expecting her to find the idols. And, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like, yeah, she was a lot smarter and a lot more competitive than she went on. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It, it was. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that she was playing very good. And then almost it was like, and you know, at the merge, she realized, yeah. oh, you know, no be, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no chance of me winning. I'm just I'm not going to play now. And, it, you know, yeah. Uh, it, it definitely soured, uh, you know, I think the, the impression the that a lot yeah. of, yeah, the perception, um, and which is probably a was... reason why they don't edit for as big as, you know, they could have. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I think another reason why I feel like if she wasn't edited like that, she could have potentially been brought back because, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, because yeah. Jeff was even like, oh, so are you quitting and stuff? And we know how Jeff doesn't like quitters, no matter how good or iconic they are. Mm -hmm. um, Johnny Fairplay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So I've been wanting to bring her back on a brand steal for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's just I feel this is probably I think like subconsciously this was probably the best way to bring her um mm -hmm. for an unsung hero yeah. um so yeah here she is cool all right next up we got Marcus Lenham from Gabon and yes I, I very similar to Brendan mm -hmm. uh not to be consumed uh confused with Brandon so uh, <laughs> your team is <laughs> <laughs> it's funny in high school in my drama club there was someone named brendan and someone named brandon one year or was mm. it two years i think one year yeah one year and so like you know i had difficulty with that and i even fucking knew one for quite some time too so anywho so marcus um i feel like he he definitely plays in the same uh field as brendan where he was mm -hmm. on a side that was winning a lot so he was never really vulnerable like ever mm -hmm. um until like just that like one por portion where uh uh it was like the fake out merge um yeah. which was a decent twist mm -hmm. and i feel like you know it, it we haven't really seen that since um uh, thailand and thailand it just completely screwed someone over yeah. and it did it did as well, but not in as a as much of an obvious way because he gets blindsided by Crystal, who he formed a bond with. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, if that didn't happen, Kage or not Kage, mm -hmm. um, Gabon would have been much different uh, game if he wasn't voted out right then and there. If that twist never happened, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it would have been a much different uh, merge. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I thought he was one of the power players going in to the, the fake out merge in, in you know, in that regard. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, I agree. I, I think that he definitely went out too soon. Um, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I've expressed my, uh, you know, I disdain know. for the season <laughs> on multiple accounts. You have the bone. I have Danny Boatwright slash Guatemala. So exactly. it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we so, can both appreciate some of the highlights from each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think there's some people who go out of uh, uh, you know pre merge uh, on Gabon who should have made it, like an like an Ace Gordon, for instance. A, uh, yeah, Ace was interesting. Mm -hmm. I liked him. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> I forget the guy's name, but who Corinne called. Uh, was he a fatty in high school when he was younger? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, he did I forget his name, but, you know, he did seem pretty optimistic and like a nice guy, just like, yeah, a little off, but that was part of his charm. Mm -hmm. um, anywho, he didn't yeah. make the list. Marcus did. Uh, <laughs> all right. So last but not least, we have Nick. I don't know really how to. Mariano, I don't think that's how I it. it's not Boston or all, but Mariano. So I'm just gonna say Mayo. So Nick Mayo <laughs> from Survivor hey, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna be very happy with that. <laughs> I feel I feel he probably got it all the time. Let's be honest, you have a name like that. It's gonna be Mayo. He's been called Mayo. And if not, hi Mayo. Um so um, he was someone where, I, yeah, I feel like same thing with Brendan Marcus. Um, you know, it was just like his tribe, he made it to, you know, the merge without going to tribal council once. Um, so a lot of the camera time was off him. And like mm -hmm. when we did, it did seem like, yeah, he was a leader. He did seem like, yeah, he had a good social game, things like that. Like mm -hmm. he seemed like he had a lot going for him. It's just that the craziness that was Korong, as well as Korong having another great pool of contestants, Nick is kind of like pushed to the side a little bit, especially as we've gotten further away from from Korong, because mm -hmm. I've seen him on lists for um, like a heroes versus villains or stuff like that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. really? Um, I'm like, yeah, I got it at the time, but like, he's someone that's definitely on the verge of survivor obscurity. Yeah, yeah, it, it seems fun. like um, if he's not in like the next All Star kind of thing, that he's probably not going to come back to Survivor at all. Like, he's definitely kind of at the the brink of when they'd want to bring someone like him back. Yeah, yeah, but um, yep, um, 
it, you know, it, it's like, obviously I chose him and I chose him over other contestants, but like, I'd say he's more so tribal filter um, or tribal filler fodder. Um, yeah. Watch him win. Yeah, <laughs> if, he, if he wins now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling him Mayo. I'm like, oh, you know, like he's going into obscurity. I'm shitting on this man unintentionally. I don't think, I don't want to be, but it's just like everything I'm saying, <laughs> if yeah. you simplify it, means that I'm shitting on this guy. And I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to have to send this to him. Uh, we'll email oh, it yeah. uh, Mayo. I'm sure he'll love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's <laughs> <Beat> Mayo. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, your tribe right there. Let's, yeah. uh, get to my tribe. Okay. Starting here, uh, with someone from pro islands, uh, someone who I think, uh, just by job title alone should have got more, uh, screen time. Uh, and that's Jara Johnson, the mortician. Um, and now of, of course this is yet again, another iconic cast of uh, yeah. legendary people, you know, that have played a bunch of times and stuff. Uh, yeah. But still Dara plays a pretty good game. She, she wins three immunities back to back to back. Yeah. I remember when I was watching this, um, when I was watching this the first time, um, I didn't know too much about um, that's um, about Pearl Islands, except for that Sandra won and mm -hmm. Rupert was in it. That's all I knew about the season going in. Mm -hmm. And so like when I saw Dara and when I saw she was winning these challenges, I'm like, oh damn, like mm -hmm. I'm wondering if she ever comes back at all or something like that. Um, yeah. She doesn't. Um, I feel, yeah, it's like, because with that season, even with the people that haven't returned, you got Burden, you got Lil, um, mm -hmm. you got Rhino, you got, yeah. well, he did return eventually. You got, um, um, savage i was yeah. about to say andrew but i couldn't yeah. think of his I, I, I even say krista gets way more screen time than dara like yeah honestly Mostly because like right hand uh woman to uh sandra yeah. and the whole like fish thing that kind of like screwed over and you know mm -hmm. we can't forget johnny fairplay we can't you yeah. know like he and his antics take a lot of screen time so it's yeah. like dara was just like good but yeah just like a stack she, just, she just didn't compare to to you know you know like just the entire merge of great people <laughs> yeah yeah um so yeah well you know she's the person from the earliest season on my tribe so we'll see if uh you know she can play the the modern game we'll see we'll yeah. see yeah. okay next up uh we got someone he's the guy i'm actually most excited for on my tribe uh we got right. uh, we got <laughs> uh danger dave ball yeah this guy uh i really wanted to see a lot more of him going into samoa so yeah. uh, you know i i watched samoa knowing that russell hans was this big figurehead and you know that he was going to dominate the game uh oh. but i didn't know going into it that the other tribe was just going to be not shown at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, as someone that was uh, being that being like the first season I ever watched, like from episode one to, uh, you know, finale. Um, yeah, Dave, um, it, it was like kind of like similar to a lot of the other contestants um, oh. that have been here, like on a team that didn't lose very often. So mm -hmm. not too much screen time. And even then, like, you know, on his team, he had Russell, he had or swine yeah uh, russell he had russell swine he had uh eric i believe his name was eric he was like the merge dude yeah uh it was, was it aaron it was no, i don't eric? think it was aaron. anyway yeah, yeah. that guy he was oh yeah he, eric cardona yeah that's his name yeah um yeah. you also have people um like uh lauren moret mm -hmm. and yeah um, there were quite a few personalities, and Dave was there. Um, he does have a very fun line with the bowling one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, with Jeff, where it was like, hey, what's your favorite sport? It was like, making love. Do you play often? 
not as much as I'd like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that, yeah, that's great banter. Uh, and I, yeah. I, I guarantee you that he had way more of that kind of stuff on the Don't islands know. that yeah. we just aren't able to see. Um, I, I, I also love at the reunion uh, when Russell Hans is talking about how he's the greatest player to ever play this game. Uh, Dave Ball is just in the background going, no, he's not. It's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back and look for it. Yeah, yeah, um, it's hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm excited for him. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I, I do like Samoa, actually. I, like, I think that the cast could have been really good if Russell Hansen get all the screen time. I love, I like, I, yeah. I, I like Russell Hansen. I think he's a great player and everything, but I do think that there was actually a pretty good cast hiding in there. I think there was, but yeah, just uh, Russell and Shambo and I forgot to mention Shambo. Shambo mm-hmm. took a lot of the screen time on the other tribe as well. Yeah. So you got two uh, screen sponges, one being one of the most iconic survivor players ever. And you got these screen sponges mm-hmm. absorbing all the screen time. Exactly. You know? it, it, you it, yeah. got... Everyone else is fighting for just, you know, like one confessional. <laughs> I mean, hell, like Natalie White could be considered the same thing. Um mm-hmm. I, I thought about putting her on here too, honestly. I was like, we could have put a winner on here. <laughs> it would have been it would have been so interesting if I because I thought when you said unsung heroes that you were gonna choose Danny Boat, right? I was like, that's how what he's gonna do. <laughs> so, no, no, no. I think she her song has been sung. <laughs> I, I, I don't know when I'm gonna watch all the survivors again. Because that's a very time-consuming uh, commitment, yeah. and I already yeah. did that, and I keep doing these things where it's like, let me watch this huge series that has like you know at least ten seasons. And mm-hmm. Ryan is like, oh, this will be the last one, and he never learns his lesson. Yeah. Uh, but you know, eventually, I watch all of Survivor again, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll keep even extra eyes open for Guatemala. Yeah, like, well, it's it's great. It's, uh, you know, uh, you just gotta uh, you just gotta accept that Danny is a great player. Ruined by the ending. <laughs> oh, that's your opinion. Okay, moving on. Yes, yes. Obviously. <laughs> I know. I'm. I know. Uh, I, I know there are people that preach her greatness. Mm-hmm. Um, she's, she's a very polarizing care a player because yeah. you either think she's a great player or she you think she's one of the worst winners i think if you insert a meme of like you know the office where uh michael scott has long hair and it's just the thumbs up doesn't know what happened yeah. and you have just insert jeff probes as just like here's a million dollar danny but right <laughs> um. i'm sorry danny but right yeah, yeah. Oh, Once this channel gets big enough, we're gonna bring Danny Vote right on, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to apologize to her. I'm gonna have to get her like a flower bouquet and be like, "I am so sorry." Like, <laughs> really, really have to make a huge public apology for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, All okay. Right. Uh, mo- moving on now. Uh, this next person actually wasn't originally on my list. Uh, I I uh, ended up changing uh, her out. Uh, and that is uh, Desi from HHH. Um, I think she was a pretty strong player, uh, you know, kind of teamed with Joe Mena for, um, especially when, you know, the swap happened and everything. And uh, oh, yeah. uh, it was kind of just them against, you know, the world with Joe's idol. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I feel like definitely um, target by association really yeah. was a downfall. Um, yeah. And, you know, obviously, since Joe's the one that's making the moves, you know, some of the, like, like, she's just, mm-hmm. like, her shoulders in the spotlight, and you can yeah. see a little glow on her face, but, like, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, going into the season, I thought she was going to do much better, honestly. Like, I, I thought, I like, I looked at her almost in the same way as Allie. I actually thought that uh, they both were going to play you know, pretty strong games uh, going into it, and it was kind of surprising, you know, she's the first jury member of the season (laughs) yeah yeah um yeah yeah uh i yeah i want to bring her because i i believe i had um christine uh shields who i i believe we've had on actually one time before um the name sounds familiar i'm pretty sure we have 
I, I, I think so. So I, I, I wanted to, uh, to try to get someone who I know that we haven't brought on yet. Yeah. 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 So, so, so we will see um, how she rolls. See how Desi does. Uh, yeah. Okay, next up, uh, we got one of the three amigos and definitely the least remembered oh, of the three yeah. amigo, even though he makes it very far in the game. First we, of the amigos. Yeah. We, um, we got Eddie Fox. Honestly, when I was rewatching it, I forgot the order a little bit because I thought he, I thought it was kind of like a begonging of, you of know, the all three. three of them. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh, wait, either I'm wrong or I entered an alternate universe where he made it to the final four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, I if he like wins, he, if he wins yeah. final immunity, he he pro- they probably get rid of Cochran and he wins because <laughs> he's up against. Um, Don, uh, and I forget the yeah. woman that looks like Sandra Bullen. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm blinking on her, too. It's it's exactly. Not clear. It's uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, exactly. You know, another kind of forgettable person there. Um, but yeah, Eddie probably wins there because people liked Eddie. Like, like if you actually look at his social game, people did like him. Like he was yeah. very likable. Um, especially you know he would had Malcolm and Reynolds uh, just preaching his praise so much. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Eddie. I feel like this is a good season for him to be on. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah 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 that's uh that's eddie uh okay next up someone who i was really excited for going into island of the idols uh oh, i i, I, I knew he wasn't like gonna win or any of that kind of stuff but i expected him to be that funny interesting character that spiced up the season for you know like 10 to 12 episodes or something like that uh and he goes out and he was the sixth person voted out um yeah <laughs> uh I'm- yeah yeah, I, I mean, I like Jason. Um, I know, like, he really got into hot water in the beginning, and like his dynamic with uh, his dynamic with Nora was pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, and that's another one where, despite all the controversy behind that season, it is a pretty great cast overall, yeah. and I feel like, yep, just gets outshined by the controversy and the other great players yeah, that are yeah, there. The, yeah, exactly. I think, honestly, once the controversy happens at the merge, you kind of forget about the pre-merge. The pre-merge becomes very forgettable. Even though it's a great pre-merge, you, yeah. you, you forget about it because of everything that happens, uh, which is unfortunate because, uh, you know, uh, I, he, he really goes home at that tribal and, you know, just because Elaine wins that book block, um, like of all of the times that that advantage gets brought into the game, it yeah. had to be that tribal. But at the same time, if Elaine doesn't get that, then she goes home and I don't want Elaine to go home. So <laughs> someone's got to And yeah. he, uh, you're the short stick. Exactly. So, so we'll, we'll see if he can, uh, you know, make it to the merge this time and, and uh, you know, bring some, some good moments. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Okay, uh, next up from uh, MVGX, which is, you know, I've also said one of my favorite seasons, uh, we got Ken McNichol. Uh, you know, definitely not bringing him here for his strategic game. Uh, definitely not a great strategic player, but he wins four immunities this season. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like Ken. Like, you know, he was, um, I wouldn't say I was like rooting for him, mm-hmm. but like when it got to the point where I was like narrowing it down, I was definitely like, if, uh, if it's between or like, I'd say of like the Gen Xers that were left, mm-hmm. it was him and David. Uh, David that were like, you know, I-, I could see either one of them winning and I'd be okay with it. Um, yeah. It's just like socially, like, and I think the his social game not being on par was part of his charm because, yeah. like, you know, you see a handsome guy who's a model, stuff like that, mm. you automatically think, oh, they're charismatic as fuck. He's not. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very shy in that regard. And I think that was one thing I really liked about Ken. Um, mm. So I'm glad you brought him. 
Yeah, yeah. I thought his dynamic with David was great. Uh, you know, you got kind of the, the big guy uh, and then the, the, the smaller guy. It was, it was like a funny comedic duo, yeah. honestly, between the two of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I think those were the two best uh, from the Gen X tribe, and I'm glad they both were the last of the Gen X tribe to, to be around. Um, but yeah, you know... I, I was still rooting for Adam. Like, I still wanted Adam to win over him. Uh, and I knew that going into the end, like, of course, he's not going to be Adam. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I, I know I don't give Adam a lot of love, mm -hmm. but I was, like, rooting for him. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. When yeah. I was watching. Yeah. Um, I, I also but, think that Ken should get some credit for voting out David at Final Four, honestly, though, because we don't talk about that at all. But it, David was still the front runner over Adam. Like I, yeah. like I think that that needs to be very clear. Is that if David gets the ends with anyone still, he wins. Yeah. Um, which and, makes and, and a lot of a lot of people, you know, would have, you know, stuck with him and not voted uh, against David there. Uh, yeah. You know, because they're like, oh, I, I am friends with him, but uh, he was able to notice that, you know, David's going to win. <laughs> yeah. I think another thing that kind of plays into it as well is um, Gen X uh, or Millennials versus Gen X. It's also another one of the season where you got some pretty big icons as well mm -hmm. with, you know, Adam, obviously you got David, right? You got Jay, Zeke. you got, you got Zeke, you got yeah, um, Michaela. Michaela and uh, even Taylor. Brett, I think was great. Brett was cool. Yeah. I like yeah. Um. So just one of those people that just kind of got stuck to the side. And Figgy. Yeah, and oh yeah, don't forget about Figgy. Can never forget Figgy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so so yeah, that's Ken. Um, okay, next up from uh, Ghost Islands, uh, we got Libby. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce her last name because I don't know. Vin Vincek. Vinek. Vincek. Vincek. <laughs> I don't oh yeah. Know. I, I, Vince K. <laughs> Vince K. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think she was a very, you know, definitely had a good social game of Ghost Island. Uh, and it was another one of those cases. Ghost Island was dominated by one tribe. She wasn't on that tribe, so she must go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, she's definitely out of everyone for me at the, the tribal filler. Uh if we had to lose someone very early, for me, it would be Libby. Because it's blonde. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's totally the blonde thing. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to someone, if we scroll up real quick, I'd say this is probably the, this is probably the most blonde season we have. We have four on my tribe. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got like two on yours. Uh, I don't know if Scout's original color was blonde, but you know, it's like grayish brown. Yeah. But we have so many blondes. Yeah, yeah. This it's okay is, for some of them to go home. Early. Eventually, we're gonna have to do a blonde season where we just pick our favorite blondes. Yeah. <laughs> or be like blondes versus something. Yeah, blondes versus brunettes. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. So, so as I said, I, I, Libby to me, honestly, is the, the closest thing to a, a tribal filler that we've had. We haven't used her yet. Um, uh, and I know she's been appearing on the Russell Hans, uh, uh, show quite a bit, um, right. as one of their podcasters. So, so she's still trying to be in the scene of, of Survivor. I mean, yeah. I mean, especially if that's one of your biggest, uh, claims to fame, mm. you kind of jump on that. Uh, yeah. I try to stay on it as long as possible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, we got someone from, uh, you know, another season that I, I think is uh, very good. We got Scout Cloud Lee. Uh, you know, another person almost wins this game. Uh, you know, it makes it to the final three. If either her or Twyla win that final immunity, yeah, Scout wins the game. <laughs> like, I, I think, you know, another just old school survivor, everyone yeah. liked the social game. Twyla didn't have the social game. She would have brought no. scouts. <laughs> there were a few of those where it was votes against her. Like, you know, the mm -hmm. thing is, Twyla, like, because, yeah, um, 
it, because Chris did go back on his word a lot. He did promise a lot and he owned up to it. Yeah. But he never like swore on his child. And that was like a yeah. big touchy thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and Chris had this like, I wouldn't say every man because he's a bit more, um, you know, I'd say there's enough of him to make him a bit more distinguished mm -hmm. than an every man. But like, you know, he, he has that like relatableness of like, you know, hardworking guy um, that, you know, just makes him very, very like lovable or mm -hmm. like someone you can really, really get behind or you root for him. And honestly, with Scout, she is very, very forgettable in the sense of like, mm -hmm. I think it's part of the um, edit and stuff, but I think it's also guys being decimated um, a lot bigger personalities on that season where um, I, I do kind of like remember her ish, but I don't remember her a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, as, a, as you said, the, the guy is decimation kind of also gives Chris a huge edit after yeah. he when he's the last guy. Uh, and then a Amy is also a huge character on there. Eliza's huge. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then Twyla also is a pretty big character as well. So, like, you have just a bunch of people taking the screen time for various reasons. Um, and then you kind of forget Scouts here. Um, and then you're on yeah. final three with Scout, Twyla, and Chris. And you're just like, huh. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. yeah I, either she's going out here or she, you know, you, you'd think that she would just be going against the end as kind of the goats. Um but yeah yeah ultimately you know she goes out there but i i do think if she gets to the end with twyla i think she she wins that game i i think so because of twyla's you know swearing on your child especially in old school where they're a lot more sentimental exactly that's just not too many brownie points exactly so so let's uh see how scout does okay mm -hmm. uh now here's uh we said brought it up before but the uh only person who's uh been on here or been on actual survivor twice we got sierra don thomas yeah the thing was when they announced the cast for um game changers mm -hmm. I had no idea who she was yeah, and I, I, think, watched... I think everyone had to look her up i guarantee I you yeah. like you know granted i'd say every season where they brought someone back there's always like that i've watched like you know all mm -hmm. the seasons seasons prior yeah um granted that's very slim because you know i caught up around uh second chance that ballpark area mm -hmm. like a little bit after second chance was when i was really catching up on things because streaming yeah. services yeah. but uh yeah uh I was legit like, where, what? She made it. And then when I rewatched it, I'm like, she made it to final five? Yeah, she made it very far. Yeah. And I was like, I think it's another thing where her tribe never really went to travel too often. She was like on the bottom of that too. Plus, yeah. like, kind of similar to Jenny, um, Jennifer, you know, like a lot of big personalities on this season. You got Rodney yelling about everything. You got Mike with his booming voice. You got, <laughs> I'm forgetting, is it the mailman, Dan? Dan, yeah. You got Dan, you know, saying inappropriate things. Sharin being, you know, bottomless and saying and comparing Will to a fish. And you got yeah. Joe, you got so much going on. Um, and I haven't even mentioned, you know, Mama C or Tyler yeah. yet. Like, you know, yeah that she just kind of like disappeared there wasn't and, really a, a spot for her to to have any you know personality or character growth or <laughs> no story. even like even like in pre-merge where you got uh i feel like even pre-merge wise there were a lot of like people that went out that season that were pretty interesting like so mm -hmm. joaquin um yeah the guy with long hair that's like all over the place um mm -hmm yeah so yeah sierra yeah. kind of like came in out admittedly she came into her own and uh game changers but yeah she wasn't one i was rooting for going in yeah and then even if you look at game changers itself um like the only thing you can really remember her from her game changers things is the sarah lacina stuff is for getting voted out so that she, she gives the, the legacy advantage to the sarah 
Um, yeah. And then, you know, after Survivor and everything, you remember her now for uh, marrying Joe. Um, yeah, and they have a baby now. Exactly. So, you know, she, she made the most out of, you know, not really being on the screen. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um I will she's uh she's one of she's one person I won't be too upset if she goes home early. No offense, mm-hmm. Sierra, Don, Thomas, <laughs> Anglum, if you ever watch this. Just mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah. Okay, uh let, let, let's now talk about the final person on my tribe. Uh someone I uh you know I'm actually excited to bring on here. Uh, another uh former athlete, uh, ex NFL football player. Um, we got Steve Wright. I thought that's just like an elderly Dr. Cox from Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he? yeah, yeah. He he definitely does. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Honestly, honestly, I, I I like Steve Wright. I uh, liked uh, him on the season, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, it becomes the Boston Rob show and on yeah. his tribe before they get rid of Russell, it's the Russell Hans show still. Um, yeah. So he kind of, and then of course, you know, when Russell Hans goes, they basically edit it in a way that that tribe just looks dumb. Like they just have to be the stupidest tribe ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, Steve, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I think he's honestly, uh, you know, just one of those people. Obviously, he would never come back into actual Survivor because of age and everything. Uh, just age, popularity. Yeah. Of that well, I, I, I know some people who do think that he uh, deserved uh, another go at it if, uh, if he wanted. I mean, I could see it. He wouldn't be one of my first choices, though, for mm-hmm. like. I think like I would have to expend a lot to get to Steve, but I think, yeah, he could definitely be in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I think he's a, a, you know, pretty good guy. I, I, I would have liked to see, uh, you know, him not that them not throw that challenge and potentially make it to the merge with numbers. That would have been better, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> different timeline. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's uh let's see uh who who are you uh, most excited for on your tribe? Allie. Um Allie. second place. Uh it's really hard to say. Maybe Jennifer. Mm-hmm. I'd say those are the two front runners. Nice. Um I'm probably rooting for Allie and uh Adam. I think uh, I'd like to see Adam make it far. Yeah, uh maybe a close third, but it's just like Allie is like my supreme pick. Yeah, yeah, um, I, th- I think she's great. I, I, I want to see her make it far, especially because you know she's been on here before. She's yeah, already kind of got some. so close. Yeah, she, yeah, she's already got some good status there. So, so we'll see there. Um, uh, and then what? What about my tribe? Who, who you leaning towards? Uh, Dara and Ken. Dara and Ken. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um. I'm probably leaning towards uh, Dave and Dara. All right. Yeah, I think those are my two. Okay, so you ready? Let us do it. Let's see who wins the reward challenge. My tribe wins reward, and they win an extra bag of rice. Good for them. (laughs) Yep. But can they? Okay, alliances. Alliances. Okay, so we got our first alliance here with Allie, Brendan, and Nick. All right, nice. Uh, Brendan's the least loyal there. And then we got Adam, Brandon, Debbie, and Marcus. Uh, it's going to be, <laughs> since there's a Brendan and a Brandon, I wonder if some people are going to fuck up the tribal. Yeah, they, they, they don't put the right uh, the vowel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just like a snoozy loose thing. <laughs> Okay, and then on my tribe, uh, Desi, Libby, Sierra, and Steve are an alliance. And Dave, Ken, and Scouts are an alliance. We can... All right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We kind of got, uh, you know, a bit of an older alliance here, minus Steve. Yeah, Steve is probably like, I'm going to be with the young kids. It's not <laughs> different and cool. Exactly. He's trying to fit in there. Um Okay, you know, it's been a while since uh, we actually see alliances form on day one. 
there's a lot yeah. of no alliances being formed. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. Does my team win immunity? My tribe wins immunity. <laughs> bye bye. Everyone on my team. Can a fire making kiss? Um, Ali Ooh, found yes. the idol. I dig this. Nice. Very nice. And Brendan Adam Bondalos. All right. All right. Okay, looking pretty good over here. And Dave Ball found the I our favorites well, just found it. the idols. All right. All right. Nice. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, and Dave Kennan Scout dissolves. He gets a little taste of power. And he and he says peace. <laughs> yeah. Uh okay, well. So we haven't seen anyone hating each other. So I think we we'll kind of have to go off of who wasn't really in an alliance. Yeah. Um, it's hard because admittedly, some of the guys look very similar, and yeah. some of the girls. I can't. Look I can't remember. <laughs> You're right. It's like all right. It's short hair, white male. Blonde people. Okay. It's an amalgamation of almost purple edits. <laughs> Hell, even Ali might be considered, or not Ali, Alexis might be considered dirty blonde. Just, 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 yeah. They're all kind of the same. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know because yeah, I, 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 I realize I, my I, team I, composition I, I, is not great. I truly have no idea. Like I, I keep being like, was this person alliance? I I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ali was in alliance with um the guy in the is it yeah it's brendan because alphabet with brendan and i believe nick so um, yeah okay well, let's maybe it's marcus figure. yeah let's go let's just figure it out um how he plays the idol on nick <laughs> okay oh try that one. haircut first vote goes to nick does not count was his haircut Second vote goes to Nick, does not count. Third vote goes to Nick, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Jen. Fifth vote goes to Jeffra. Sixth vote goes to Jeffra. Seventh vote goes to Jeffra. Oh no, are we losing a cricket? Eighth vote goes to Jen. I don't really want to lose either, but... Ninth vote goes to Jen, one vote left. I'm going to say, let it be Jeffra. No. It is Jen. Damn. I get it. Honestly, I'd rather her go over Jeffra. I, I, I like Jeffra. I wanted more. to see more of Jen because I feel, well, obviously, more unsung in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. So Adam voted for Jen. Ali voted for Jeffra. Alexis voted for Nick. Uh, Brandon voted for Jen. Brendan voted for Jeffra. Debbie voted for Jen. Jeffra voted for Nick, Jen voted for Nick, Marcus voted for Jen, and Nick voted for Jeffra. Yeah, I think uh, it was like you had the two alliances, and then you had people, and then you had the like, people that weren't in the alliance, and they all kind of were like doing their own thing, and obviously one had the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so Allie plays her right all wrong here, right? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. So I mean, her. I don't blame her too much because she was only in a three-person alliance. Yeah, uh, true. And I mean, Nick was the target for a group. For it a group, just yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, see if Ali can bounce back from this. Uh, she died at nine. She really likes this uh, this group. Yeah. Link. So the people that aren't on a alliance is Alexis and Jeff. Jeffra. Yeah. So it was it was the three blondes. Yeah. Or the three three young blondes. Yeah, the blonde or alliance. Like, they they just need to make an alliance and call them themselves the blonde alliance. Yeah. Um, okay, and then this is the only alliance on my tribe. And my <laughs> tribe win immunity. Let's see that. Purpose. My tribe wins immunity. Oh, Ryan. Don't worry, at least we're gonna get a swap soon. So you're trying to I know, to but it still hurts to lose them. 
<laughs> so was, really well. To receive a toolkit and materials and prove their shelter for reward. Okay. And Brendan found the idol. All right. Nice. But Alexis isolates herself from the rest of the tribe. Is Alexis... No. It might be her legit because yeah. she's not in an alliance. Yeah, I can see uh, that. We got to get rid of someone from that like little group. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Libby and Dara bond a lot. Nice. Good for nice. them. Yeah, yeah. Getting some social relationships there. I'm yeah. gonna say Alexis. Yeah, I think I think this might be Alexis. First vote goes to Alexis. Second vote goes to Alexis. Third vote goes to Alexis. Fourth vote goes to Jeffra. Fifth vote goes to Jeffra. Sixth vote goes to Nick. Seventh vote goes to Jeffra. Eighth vote goes to Nick. Ninth vote and player leaving is Alexis in a 4 3 2 vote. So I'm guessing Jeffra and it's that four person alliance that's just been uh, working together. Yeah. And they're kind of like calling the shots. Yeah, um, so Adam, Brandon, Debbie, and Marcus uh, got, they, they pretty much have power now because now it's a uh, 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 H person tribe here. I mean, I guess we're going to swap, so it didn't matter. Yeah. But, uh, they like, don't know that. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. So, so in, in that regard, they would have had control over the tribe in, in a sense. Like they just got to get one person to to flip for one vote. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Ali voted for Jeffra though. Alexis voted for Nick. Uh, Brendan voted for Jeffra. Jeffra voted for Nick. And Nick voted for Jeffra. All right. Okay. And let's see wh what the new tribes are like. Okay. On the new Bion tribe is Brendan, Dave, uh, Debbie, Ken, Libby, and Scout. So two of mine and four of yours. Yeah. Um, Brendan and Debbie are not in the same alliance. So uh, they got to kind of get together in this scenario. But Brendan does have the idol, which, yeah. you know, always plays good. But then again, so does Dave. Yeah, exactly. So there's, there's, there's some so idol there's shenanigans. A lot of shenanigans on this tribe. Yeah, I, I kind of wish that they went on to the, the third tribe so that someone else could have found an idol and had three idols on one tribe. <laughs> Man, that would have been crazy. Yeah, okay. Uh, and now the new Takeo tribe is Adam, Dara, Eddie, Nick, Sierra, and uh, Steve. Another in two and four um, mm -hmm. with Adam and Nick being on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so the, is this next tribe just going to be like all your people's? <laughs> it's going to be four of my people and yeah. two of yours. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got Allie, Brandon, Desiree, uh, Jason, Jeffra, and Marcus. All right. Uh, Brandon and Marcus are probably going to, you know, stick with their alliance. And it could be a thing of like, Oh, Jeffra goes over to one side, or Allie mm -hmm. and Jeffra bond together, and they're the swings. Uh, there's a, it's a very playable thing, even though um, you only have two people. It's very yeah. playable. I definitely don't like that Jason is one of the people on this minority. I, I would hate to see him go <laughs> merge again because of, of shenanigans. But it's okay. It's a very playable team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a uh, Brendan and Debbie have a they're kind of have Looking, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, Sierra and Steve were an alliance uh, previously, so they're still together. Okay, and then over here, Brandon and Marcus were. Had a little something going on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. All Let's right. See who wins immunity. Yeah. And I'll the say. Angkor tribe wins immunity. Nice. And the Bion tribe wins immunity. All right. Both our faves are safe. Yeah. 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 We're not going to get any shenanigans also going on in this tribe with the idols. Yeah. Uh, there's no idol hidden. 
Oh. Is now a very strong alliance. They have to. Yeah. They have to. They're the only two. Yeah, they also uh, uh, were on the same season together in real life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> funny how that works out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sierra and Eddie have a minor fight. Oh, no. It might be one of them. Probably. And Allie and Brandon have a minor fight. Allie accidentally called Brandon Brendan, and that <laughs> triggered him. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, All right. I'm going to say think, Sierra. Yeah. I'm going to say Sierra. Yeah. Okay. First vote goes to Adam. Second vote goes to Adam. Third vote goes to Nick. Just vote my guys. Okay. Four vote goes to Dara. <laughs> they heard oh, you. Let see. Fifth vote goes to Adam. Peace out, Adam. And yeah. Who goes home? No. Three, three of my people in a row. Wow. What? I'm just going to lose. This will be the first friend steal where I lose everyone before you lose one person. Yeah, yeah. Watch yeah. it. You, we, 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 yeah, yeah. Your last person is like the second jury member. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so Nick is racking up those votes, though. He is. He is. If he survives long enough, who knows? He might. Uh, he might surpass um Ken. Exactly. Okay, and here. More alliances. Okay. Now, who's going to win rewards? Uh, Bion Tribe chooses Brendan. Takeo chooses Steve. And Incor chooses Marcus. All right. Okay. I'm thinking Steve because he's a, a different person than Brendan and Marcus. <laughs> Makes sense. But I'm going to choose... Uh... Brendan and yeah. uh yeah I'll choose Brendan. Yeah and Bayon wins uh reward. They win barbecue set with sausages and vegetables. And Marcus uh, wins a brain core. They win a walk in vegetables. Not fuel them for immunity. Yeah. Bayon tribe wins immunity. All right, nice. And yeah. Anchor tribe wins immunity. <laughs> Oh, green team is not looking hot. Uh, yeah, no, it's not great. Um, the behavior of Dave is rubbing the tribe the wrong way. He's making too many jokes about, you know, making love. Can't do that in a post-Me Too world. <laughs> uh, there's no idle in here. Nothing's happening. Oh, well, perfect time <laughs> for nothing to happen. <laughs> I and think Brandon because... found the idol. All right. And the behavior of Desi is that could be very bad. Yeah. Because he and Allie are not getting along. Yeah. Yeah, he might have to play it at the next tribal. It's going to be Nick. Yeah, Nick. Yeah. He, he's received a lot of votes. If he still survives this, it'll be kind of crazy. Yeah. Also, I chose him, so obviously. Yeah. First vote goes to Dara. Second vote goes to Nick. Yeah. Third vote goes to Nick. Yeah. Fourth vote. Get him. Yes, <laughs> Nick. Watch it. The green team is going to lose again. And then one of my characters gets medically um, evacuated or something. Watch that it would be, That would be I'll, I'll see the votes, but obviously, you know, it's coming there. Uh, yeah, so uh, so it was just a straight vote out there uh, because yeah. they played it very safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so let's uh, let's see. Uh, it's got to be one of my people now, right? It's 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 it's, uh, it's got to be. Statist statistically, it is possible. However, yeah. in practice, not so much. <laughs> okay, alliances. And reward challenge. The Bion tribe wins reward. They win rope and tarp along with comfort items and refreshments. All right. 
and the Angkor tribe wins rope. They win rope and tarp. Okay, so the question is now: Will both these these team win? Uh, the K no, wins immunity. Of course, of course. Watch a uh, watch <laughs> Angkor win. So statistically speaking, I have the worst odds going to travel. Watch it be Angkor that wins. Bion tribe wins immunity. Oh crap! Don't get rid of Ali. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, so nothing going on here. Steve and Eddie bond slightly. All right, good for them. Um, Marcus isolates himself from the rest of the tribe. Oh no, he's nervous. He knows he's probably going home. Yeah, is Marcus going home here? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's because I don't want to bring it into the air. It might be Allie. Okay. It, it might be we'll see yeah. it might be Ali. it might be marcus all i know is it's probably be one of my peeps we'll see we'll see um brandon does not play the idol first one goes to ally <laughs> second one goes to jason oh third one goes to jason fourth one goes to jason Fifth one goes to Allie. Sixth one goes to Allie. We are tied. <laughs> All right. And it might go to Ross here. And then in that case, it's really bad for me. Because that means I have a three out of four chance of losing someone. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely are wanting them to turn on Jason right now. <laughs> yes, that would be lovely. So let's see. First one goes to Jason. Second one goes to Allie. Third one goes to Jason. <laughs> and fourth one goes to Allie. We are oh, tired. Allie is safe. I'm going to look on the positive. Allie is safe. Though yeah, I yeah. Allie and Jason are safe. Those are the two people in this tribe I didn't want to go home. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. Uh... So there's still a tie after the reboots. Oh, Debbie! Okay. Okay. How did you dodge that? I guess uh, Brand Steel was like, screw you, Ryan, subverting expectations. Yeah. I should also say your mic is kind of like uh, cutting out. It is? Yeah, yeah. You, you're sounding like a, a robot. I mean, like you, you come in and out of it. Like sometimes, like it'll be fine, but sometimes it's uh kind of weird. Connection looks good at the moment, but is it happening right now? Yeah. Yeah. All it, right. it, it's it's like a wind tunnel. So uh, yeah, I think uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna disconnect from the Wi-Fi. If you don't hear anything from me in a sec. Because it usually like causes me for a while. Mm. That's why, but I'll be back and better than ever. Hopefully. Sounds good. Okay, well, uh, Ryan uh, tries to figure out his, his mic issues and everything. Um, Let's uh let's evaluate each tribe and see which ones uh you know I I I guess it's just me so uh, I'm just gonna evaluate who I think uh yeah. oh, oh you're back I'm here yeah is it back yeah. no it still sounds the same it does yeah I I I'm not exactly sure why <laughs> dang. Yeah, I think I noticed um, it happened our last recording session, like at the end. It's uh, I noticed it, but uh, like sometimes, like uh, you'll you'll just then be fine, but then sometimes you'll just go back to sounding uh, weird. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. See, like that. What you just said uh, there was fine. Yeah, I guess it just really depends. I mean, these things happen when you do it online. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's like you're just not close enough to the mic or something. 
No, I think it's a connection thing. Okay, well, right. closer. Yeah, yeah. See, that sounds way better. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, have a yeah, camera in my face. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That sounds uh, a thousand times better. Okay. So okay. let's uh, let's. Uh, when I'm watching this, I'll be like, all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. Uh, yeah, Desi just went home from from drawing rocks in the pre-merge. Um, so I get a little bit of a break. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be just all your people. Yeah, and more alliances here. Let's see who wins rewards. The Anchor Tribe wins reward, as well as the right. uh, Takeo. We don't know what they win. But they win reward. Well, I think this is because uh, this episode is here because of Terry. Because, like, there was a double elimination thing. That's right. Yeah. So they just had to get rid of someone. Uh, yeah. That. So Brand Steel was like, this is like a filler one. Got it. Okay. And the Bion tribe wins immunity. Okay. And Takeo tribe wins immunity. That's not looking good for Jason. Sorry. No. Okay. Uh, Libby and Ken bond a lot. All right. Nice. Um, KO Tribe is now a medium strength alliance. Oh, so they're just uh, all at fives. Or, you know, they're separated, so they're not able to confirm if they're all still strong. No, they're on the same tribe with each other, are they not? Are they not? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, not not the uh, Steve and the, the girls' lines. This is uh, the Takeo tribe at that. Uh, as that a whole. Together. Yeah, yeah. So they were already not very strong. Actually, I think this increased because I think there were some like fours and threes mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> yeah. Because a four is not really great. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, so, this yeah. was, uh, you know, because it's just one of those haphazardly like work together. Um, and I think a lot of those usually would come out at like four and three uh, for the individual loyalties. Gotcha. Um, and now this is a medium strength alliance. Oh, what's happening? All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see how that works at Tribal. Um, come so on, it might Jason, be Jason's time. Mirror. If he goes out here oh. I, at episode six again, I'm gonna be so mad. I think it's, I think uh, the stars are aligning for that to happen, bud. I refuse. I'm sorry. Okay. First vote goes to Allie. Second vote goes to Jeffra. Third vote goes to Jason. <laughs> Fourth vote goes to Allie. Oh no, please don't. Oh, it goes to Jeffro. We are tied. Two, two, one. <laughs> How? Fuck, why? Uh, so now the people deciding oh, that no. Ali and Jeffro's face are the guys of this tribe. Jason, Brandon, and Marcus. This is hot to go because it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. It's silver. Hatsu Go is 25 in Japanese. And that is his name. Uh, and th these are two of the people who've been on our brand seals before. So we're about to lose someone who's who's been on. So this is <laughs> don't don't let it be Ali. Don't let it be Ali. Just please. First vote goes to Ali. Second vote goes to Jeff for one vote left. It's Ali. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh. That's rough. No! Yeah. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah, honestly, Ali should have voted Jason. And even if it just tied there, they probably would have then voted off Jason. Uh, 
Well, well this is uh that's 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 a pretty big shocker for the pre merge. We're just gonna wait a second as as Ryan um deals with the <sighs> devastation. <laughs> If you want to talk about six, she was um, six person eliminated because yeah. she was right before the merge and stuff. Uh, yeah. Granted, this isn't right before the merge, but you know, um, episode six. Yeah. Damn. Okay, well, we got one more tribe swap here. Jason yep. somehow didn't go home. I think plot armor. <laughs> plot armor. <laughs> He just had to make it just, you know, to the merge. <laughs> or at least to this. Okay. Um, okay, so the new Bion tribe is Brandon, Dave, Debbie, Jeffra, Ken, Scout, and Steve. All right, so three of my peeps. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Uh, it's not know, looking this... good for you. <laughs> No, I don't have. I have five people left. Don't worry. You, and if you look at this tribe, I have Brendan and Marcus. Hey, hey, they're gonna team Bro, up though. They're they're the, they're the same person. I got granted. I Brendan has an idol, and so does um da 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 Brandon. That's mm. kind of funny how that happened, <laughs> but still. Yeah, definitely, definitely an uphill battle for uh, your side. It usually is. Yeah. Hey, you do so bad at pre-merge, but then your people kill it in the merge. By process of elimination, like <laughs> your people, statistically speaking, your people have more of a chance of getting voted off because there's just more. <laughs> Yeah, but there could be a big you know, you don't know. Uh, Bion Tribe wins for war, they win a picnic, deliver to camp. All right. And the Takeo Tribe wins immunity. This is this is the best case scenario okay. for you. It's just the two biggest people I was rooting for are gone, so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's already checked out of this one. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm still like licking the wounds from it. Uh -huh. It's like, damn it. Yeah. Uh, Scout and Ken have a minor fight. All right. I know I don't hit here. Okay, who's going home here? Oh. Maybe Ken because it's right before the merge. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Scout has anything uh, too much against, you know, being a threat. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it might be uh, Ken. And I'm not I just think trying it's to gonna, divert I, attention away from. I, I think it's going to be Jeffra. I'm not just trying to. If it's Jeffra, it's going to be hilarious. No. <laughs> if it's literally Jeffra, it's like your favorites it's all just went home right away. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I guess, yes, I have to root for Jeffra. Like, she's, I she's your hope right now. Yeah. She's Dave like... plays the Takeo tribe idol. Brandon right. does not play the idol. First vote goes to Danger Dave, does not count. Second vote goes to Dave, does not count. Third vote goes to Dave, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Debbie. Fifth vote goes to Scouts. Sixth vote goes to Debbie. Seventh vote goes a scout we are tied two votes scout and two so, votes Debbie. dave did play the idol right this time yeah, yeah he would have um, gone so home. now uh it's interesting because when it's a three-person vote it, you know the numbers can anything can really happen because yeah. you know 
if both Debbie and Scout voted for Dave or one voted for the other and the other voted yeah. for Dave, like it's all, yeah. the so numbers doesn't can have be- to necessar- necessarily flip. It could just be uh, by- How the numbers lie. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, there's a tie. First vote goes to Scouts. Second vote goes to Scouts. Third vote goes to Debbie. Fourth vote goes to Debbie. Fifth vote and player leaving is Scout. All right. Well, I thought she was going to be all right, but yeah. Ryan was wrong. Uh, oh, Brandon, Brandon changed. His changed. Vote he had to. Uh, Jeffro changed it to Debbie. Um, yeah. So then Debbie voted for Dave, so her vote uh, didn't count. Got voted for Debbie. Yeah. Her vote didn't count. All right. Well, yeah. Scout is out. Yep. Right before the merge. Yep. Well, let's uh, let's see what the numbers are. So I got five peeps. You have eight. Um, we got. We have five women and eight guys. Um, yeah, uh, that that seems to be like the number so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, then uh, who's who do you think's playing the the best games? Honestly, Dave. Um, Dave mm-hmm. is probably playing the best as of now. Yeah. Brandon is another front runner. Um, you say Brandon or I haven't really. I said uh, Brandon. Brandon. See, it was gonna happen. Yeah. I I, I think Brandon's playing a pretty good game. He's got his idol still. Um, yeah, both of them still do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jason I don't know, uh, like, managed to survive that uh, uh, tribe that he should have gone home last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Jeffrey could be up there. It's. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I feel definitely we're going to get a better sense this time around. Yeah. Okay. So we got Libby, Sierra, and Steve. Brendan and Debbie. Brendan and Debbie. She oh, really likes their names. He does not look amused of it. He's like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dave, Ken, and Libby. Uh, Dara, Eddie, Sierra, and Steve. Brandon and Jeffra, and then we got Brandon, Brendan, uh, Debbie, Jeffra, Marcus, and then yeah, so yeah, these are just the uh, original tribe dynamics. All right. So, yeah. Okay, let's see who wins immunity. Danger day, hey, Jeffra. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Let's see what uh, happens at good old tribe. <laughs> yeah, no, no one finds the, the merge idol. Uh, and Sierra and Jeffra have a major fight. Don't what, let it be Sierra, please. Please, and thank you. <laughs> yeah, the cherry I, on top. I, 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 you know, just I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Sierra too, because I, I don't want Jeffra to go home yet. I, I want her to at least make it halfway through this merge. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Brendan does not play the idol, and Brandon does not play the idol. <laughs> All First right. First vote goes to Libby. Second vote goes to Jason. Third vote goes to Libby. Fourth vote goes to Libby. Fifth vote goes to Jason. Sixth vote goes to Libby. Seventh vote goes to Jason. Eighth vote goes to Libby. Ninth vote goes to Jason. Tenth vote goes to Libby. Eleventh vote and player leaving is Libby. All right. Well, so, I think this is a uh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who are the four that were out of the loop? Dara, Libby, Sierra, and Steve. Oh, so it was that one alliance. Um, mm-hmm. 
the that were on that tribe before. Yeah, yeah, the the Takeo tribe, right? I think. Yeah. 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 I knew it started with the T. Yeah. Tribe names can always yeah. be difficult. Yeah. Especially since they swap it around, it's like oh, green team. Exactly. Yeah. If if there's like two swaps in a in a season, <laughs> tribes definitely. I it's not as clear cut. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who wins reward. Jason, Jeffra, Brendan, Brandon, Dara, and Debbie win reward. Look at all those. Nice. Look at this. We got alliteration up the wazoo here. Jason, Jeffra, Brendan, Brandon, Dara, and Double Debbie. J's, double B's and uh, two D's. Oh my gosh. And the, it's the Tuk Tuks. Um, see, it's because of Tuk Tuks. So it's like, yeah. let's put them all together. Wow. And on, Sierra win. wins immunity. Sierra. No one finds the idol. Oh, this is now a very weak alliance between Brendan, uh, Dara, Eddie, Jason, Marcus, and Sierra. I mean, I don't think it's much of an alliance to begin with, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't wondering... think it was mattering. <laughs> I'm wondering who's going to go home as a resort. Results. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, it could still be one of those people who voted off, though. Um, even though that that could have just been kind of a, a misdirection from Brant Steele. Um, so it could still be Steve. Maybe. Um, uh, Sierra won immunity, so she's good. Libby went home. Uh, and Dara. So it's it's it could still be Steve or Dara. Maybe, maybe. We'll just have to see. Brendan doesn't play. Brandon doesn't play. First vote goes to Dave. Second vote goes to Jason. Jason is starting to whack, rack up some votes here. He's 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 being a target. Yeah, he is. Third vote goes to Dave. Fourth vote goes to Dave. Fifth vote goes to Jason. Six vote goes to Jason. Seven vote goes to Dave. Eight vote goes to Dave. Ninth vote goes to Jason. Ten vote goes to Dave. Eleven vote goes to Jason. One vote left. I think it's and yeah. player leaving is Dave. Ah, sorry. I think it was oh. because of the immunity one. Yeah, I think that was a big factor. They probably also saw he was playing a good game. He played an idol at episode seven. Uh, yeah, wins in the media episode eight. I think he. I think everyone just re recognized the his threat value. Assess the threat. Yeah. 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 Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, Steve Sierra. Are still on the outs. Dara did votes though with the the day majority. Huh. Okay. Okay. So maybe you just trying to you know fit in as much as they can. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's a that's this is hard. Some big contenders are already gone. <laughs> yeah. We're we're really getting the unsung hero edits on I mean, everyone. <laughs> I know. I think that's the point. It's just like we got a lot of uh, Susan Cranes here, you know, yeah. following them, thinking it's their story, and then boom, put it off. Yeah, someone starts getting any power. Was it Susan Crane? I know the last one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, you there? Ryan? Yeah. It, uh, kicked me out. Oh. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your okay. uh, video is uh, not there. There it is. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so alliance is here. Okay, let's see who wins reward. Sierra, Eddie, Brendan, Brandon, and Ken win reward. All right. Nice. 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 And immunity. Jeffra wins the advantage. This is the ability to steal a vote from another player up until final five. All right. 
and Brendan Oops. wins immunity. Okay. Okay. You're All right. So we're getting some back a little. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the uh, surge. Debbie right. has found the idol. All right. Well, damn. <laughs> we we were I, just talking about them not doing anything and. <laughs> There's four advantages right now. Yeah. Uh, Ken and Sierra bond slightly. Well, I think, um, uh, uh, I mean, Jason's been getting a lot of heat. <laughs> has. I think it might be Steve, though. Uh, you think Steve? Steve, maybe Sierra. Mm -hmm. One of those two. Got it. Yeah, yeah, they, they have been on the outs this entire time, pretty much. Yeah. Jeffress steals the vote of Sierra. Uh, now? I you hope it's played it right. right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so it's going to show the original voter, but it's uh, Jeffra who actually casted the votes. Gotcha. And no one plays in the idols. First vote goes to Jason. Second vote goes to Jason. Yes, right. Third vote goes to Dara. Fourth vote goes to Dara. Fifth vote goes to Dara. Sixth vote goes to Jason. Seventh vote goes to Jason. Eighth vote goes to Dara. Ninth vote goes to Dara. Tenth vote goes to Jason. Let's see. Is it? Oh. One vote goes to Dara in a sixth vote. Again. Yet right. again. Jason. Uh, you know, I feel like he's definitely getting up there with the numbers. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah I wonder if Jeffra played it right. Jeffra voted for Dara, and she cast it again for Dara. So her vote actually mattered. All right, good job, Jeffra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Steve voted for Jason, so you got to imagine Sierra would have voted for Jason. Yeah. Wow, that really changes everything. Yeah. And now it also ties up our... Uh... Our numbers. All right, yep. So it's the halfway mark, so it's time to assess. So mm -hmm. uh, Brandon and Brendan, they're still holding on to those idols. Yeah. Um, Debbie... Not too much going on there. She hasn't. She has an idol now. Yeah, except for that. That's like the first time we've really seen her done a lot. Mm -hmm. Eddie, he's been silent. Jason, he's going for that Ken record of like trying to get the most votes in a single season. Yeah. Um, Jeffra <laughs> is starting to play more and more of a better game. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got to see how uh, how things go moving forward from here. Mm -hmm. um, Sierra and Steve, it feels like it's them against the world. Yeah, Ken, they're the uh, underdogs. They got the yeah. underdog edits. Marcus is just kind of there. Yeah. yeah he's the yeah. only he's the only one from my team that didn't really find an advantage. Um, yeah. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, and, and yeah, Ken is also kind of in this, that, that same boat. So so yeah, I, I think uh uh we got Brandon and Brendan that have their idols that have a potential big flashy play that could happen uh, if they play it right. Jason's got the vote, so that's already like the fact that he's getting voted so many times and hasn't gone home. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, Jeffra with that vote steal was a huge play on her part. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so who are you rooting? I feel like you're very uh, partial to Jason right now, but Jason, I'm going to... Yeah. For me, it's Jeffra. Jeffra, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I do like the the underdog story though. It's here and Steve. I I I wonder if uh yeah. you know they can because if, if one of them gets the end, you know they 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 can have and that. Story. It, it does save a lot. Yeah. Only time will tell. Yeah. Their alliance is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, reward challenge. Eddie, Brendan, Brandon, Sierra, and Steve win reward. They want a trip to a Cambodian circus. And immunity. Brendan and Brandon are always on the same reward. Yeah. No matter what. 
Uh, so we had three sit outs and we needed five or more. So they will not get a free shelter, but Brendan, Jason and Sierra will not be able to win immunity. Why did Jason, he needs to stay. He definitely, maybe he just knows he's not a good challenge competitor. Regardless. Okay. So the ones competing are Brandon, Debbie, Eddie, Jeffra, Ken, Marcus, and Steve. And Marcus wins immunity. Whenever we're telling you saying that goes. someone's not playing, they play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like... It, does Brand Steel listen to us? It's It, it seems like it is. <laughs> okay, well. It just has a mind of its own. Okay, so a uh, camping Marcus. Oh, no. um, are you there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Was there any uh, events at Tribe? Uh, no, not really. All right. Yeah, yeah, nothing. So happened. I think it might, I think it might be, uh, it could be Jason. It could be, I, I, I'm not trying to get confident, but I think it might be someone, it might be either Jason, Steve, or Sierra. I think those are the three biggest targets. Um, I, I think Steve and Sierra are always going to be easy outs that they could just take out pretty much whenever. Um, and Jason's just yeah, constantly but getting those. Whenever it has to come. Yeah. Whenever it has to come. That's the danger of a whenever vote. Yep. It's like putting off and procrastinating on anything else. You put yeah. it off, eventually it's going to bite you in the butt. Exactly. Okay. So Brendan does not play the idol. Brandon does not play the idol. Debbie does not play the idol. First one goes to Jason. Right. Second one goes to it's Jason. Racking him up. Third one goes to Jason. Fourth one goes to Jason. Well, uh, fifth one goes to Jason. Well, I know it's not Jason because of the sidebar, but still, sixth come one goes on, to damn. Steve. Seven vote goes to Steve. Eight vote goes to Steve. Ninth vote goes to Steve. And tenth and final vote goes to Steve. We are tied between Steve and Jason. It's going to go to rocks, isn't it? <laughs> are we getting a second rock draw? Probably. Brand well, I mean that's fine with me. I I, I want those. I want these two to make it a little further in this game. So I'm fine with us going to rocks right here. <laughs> Honestly, I I kind of want Jason to just have that record. Yeah, I feel like he's earned yeah. it. Yeah, well, he exactly. hasn't. I don't know what he's at now, but yeah, seeing we'll how it out at the end. But yeah, I want it to get a lot. Yeah, seeing how the past two tribal councils, he's had a total of ten. He's already well on his way. And that's not, in, I'm not even including the past tribal councils he's already been to. Yeah, yeah. Cause he, he got some votes in, in the pre merge. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. At least one that I re can recall mm -hmm. off the top of my head. First vote goes to Jason. Second vote goes to Jason. Third vote goes to Steve. Fourth vote goes to Jason. Fifth vote goes to Jason. Sixth vote goes to Steve. Seventh vote goes to Steve. Eighth and final vote goes to Steve. We are tied and going to rock. Don't, don't, don't walk draw someone I love. Come on. If it's Jeffra, that would be the worst. I'm going to be upset. Okay. Every Ross Purple Wall. I can't even leave. see your screen because of the lights. Oh my gosh, it's Sierra. Steve's partner in crime, Sierra Don Thomas, draws the rock. Yeah. That really sucks for Steve. Yeah, this is like the worst case scenario. He literally lost the person that was going to try to fight for him. <laughs> oh.
So Yikes. Brandon voted for Jason. Brendan voted for Steve. Debbie voted for Steve. Eddie voted for Jason. Jason voted for Steve. Jeffrey voted for Steve. Ken voted for Jason. Marcus voted for Steve. Sierra voted for Jason. And Steve voted for Jason. The thing is, usually we see in the Survivor all, all the time, usually people that step down are usually the ones that end up going home. Um, um, and like these endurance challenges where you have a way to opt out either prior or during. Mm -hmm. um, but dang, like she wasn't even in the mix for, she wasn't even a target and she still went home. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. yeah, this really puts Steve in like, Definitely the worst spot here. <laughs> At least he's got something with Eddie. Yeah. Got a little something here. It's like, I don't know, like coach and uh, player dynamic. Yeah. And Jeffra wins rewards and she shares it with Debbie Yay. and Marcus. So good for them. All right. And Debbie uses that fuel to win immunity. All right. Good job, Debbie. Yeah. Um, Eddie and Brandon have a major fight, though. It might be Eddie's time. Yeah. Brandon's got that idol. Yeah. The question is, is he going to play it or or the vote's just going to be mean... in his favor? That or is it finally Jason's time? Because Jason has been getting votes every single tribal. Yeah. It's like for a very long time we'll now. See. I know yeah. it's stacking up pretty high. No one plays any idols. First vote goes to Steve. Second vote goes to Steve. Third vote goes to Steve. Fourth vote goes to Steve. Fifth vote goes to Jason. Fifth vote goes to Steve. And player leaving is Steve. <laughs> Even when Jason is the target, he's always getting a vote. Yeah, it, it, Steve. This was really just Steve just being like, I, I'm going to increase that number count. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to give you the record. Yeah. Yeah, so I Jason's gotta say, Jason is definitely, he's a good uh, all-star contester, I gotta say. Yeah, I, I think uh, he's I, definitely there. I think, yeah. All right, final eight. It's a little bit in my favor right now, but yeah. these things can always change. Eddie wins rewards, and he shares it with Ken, Jason, Brandon, and Jeffra. And this is the loved ones. All right. So they get Aww, some, some, some love out there. Yeah. Jason really needs that at this point. Yeah. And Eddie wins immunity, and so does Debbie. Oh, okay. Debbie, yeah. you know, she's also, she hasn't been shining too much, but like, mm -hmm. She has been winning uh, immunities, and she does have an idol that she's still hung on to. Now, granted, she's never really been in danger, mm -hmm. but still. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now this is now a medium strength alliance. I thought it was already a medium strength alliance. Yeah, even more medium. Yeah. Okay. Is it finally Jason's time? <laughs> no, I feel it might be one of my peeps. Yeah. Hopefully not uh, Jeffra, but I feel like, I don't know, at this point, alliances get very, very fickle. Mm -hmm. um, because it's nearing the end where, like, this tribal council and next tribal council, and then boom, we're at finale time. Yeah. So, uh, it's a little tricky. So I think that someone from my team will probably go home here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I mean, uh, Brandon and Brendan still have these idols. So do, do Debbie. <laughs> yeah, it, it all depends. I think Debbie is going to hang on to it, though. Yeah, yeah. I, she shouldn't play it now. She won immunity. Save it for at least till next try. Well, yeah. 
So we'll see. Yeah. We'll have to see. Brendan does not play the idol, but Brandon plays the Angkor tribe idol on himself. All right. First vote goes to Brandon, does not count. Second vote goes to Brandon, does not count. Third vote goes to Brandon, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Brandon, does not count. Okay. Fifth vote goes to Jason. Oh, oh no. Sixth vote goes to Marcus. Is it? Seventh vote goes to Jason. Is it going to be a tie? And Ava. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be we. We'll see how this pans out. Yeah, we're just going to have to see. Uh, okay, little nervous. Yeah. Okay, and it, it can potentially still go to rocks because there it is an even number. Yep. Two people gone. It's still possible. I. Yeah, it is, but we'll see. First vote goes to Jason. Second vote goes to Marcus. Third vote goes to Marcus. Fourth vote goes to Jason. Fifth vote goes to Jason. It's oh, it. and Jason is finally taken out. Damn. So... Not ca counting since I've been like truly counting his he's at 15 with the past few tribal councils. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think um, I, I think they count also if there's a revote, they count those revotes as an another vote. Interesting. So he might Maybe be if, very high. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay, well, so, All right. so Eddie Eddie switched it over to Marcus, but Debbie and Ken voted Jason. Ken, you're supposed to vote Marcus. You're you're one of my guys. And he was like, you know, uh, Jason needs more votes, stuff like that. <laughs> you would have got more votes if you kept it around a few more tribals. Yeah, the he was know. a meat shield. Like honestly, he gave everyone uh, like an out. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, dang. Okay, reward challenge. Marcus wins reward and shares it with Debbie and Eddie. And this is the All right. of CM Reap. And Jeffra wins immunity. Good job, Jeffra. Gets herself into the finale. All right, nice. Uh, Debbie and Brendan bond a lot. They got idols, so they probably oh. bonded over that. They can probably come up with some shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Brandon had to use his idols successfully last time. Do the votes now come back on to Brandon? Maybe. I mean, Jason's no longer there, so people yeah. can't just like throw their votes away on him. Yeah. Um, maybe Eddie. Maybe. Maybe Ken. I think it. It might be Brandon, Eddie, or Ken. Yeah. I, I just can't say Eddie or Ken because they're my last people. I know. <laughs> they're all I have left. Unfortunately, honestly, these are not two of my faves. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one plays any idols. First vote goes to Eddie. Second vote goes to Brandon. Third vote goes to Brandon. Fourth vote goes to Brandon. Fifth vote goes to Eddie. Sixth vote goes to Eddie. And seven vote uh, and player leaving is Brandon. I will say this is the first time I lost someone in a while. So yeah. it was it was bound to happen. It, it needed to happen. <laughs> it really <laughs> did. Um, Honestly. So yeah. Brandon, uh, Jeffra, and Marcus were on the outs. Okay. All right. So here we are, fi the finale. Who, um, who's playing the best game? 
Maybe Debbie. Yeah. Maybe Debbie has been. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffra still playing good, still winning some of these challenges. Um, she had one pretty decent move, but Debbie is kind of like, I wouldn't say sleeper because she's winning immunities and sleepers usually don't have something as flashy as that on their resume. Mm -hmm. uh, Brendan does have that sleeper edit as well. Mm -hmm. um, Eddie and Ken, I feel like they definitely, uh, they get points for making it this far with uh, the decimation of your team. Yeah. What a turn um, too. This started out as it was looking like the decimation of your tribe. And yeah. it became the decimation of my tribe. Marcus, I'd say because of how the last thing went, Jeffrey and Marcus are kind of on the out, but like Marcus has a resume. It's just not a big resume. Yeah. Yeah, I think Marcus' the best chance, honestly, is to get to the end with Ken and Eddie. Like, I think those are the only people he can potentially beat. Yeah. And let's see who wins immunity. Debbie wins immunity. Way to go, Debbie. Yeah, potential all-star right there. I can see it, yeah. Debbie isolates herself from the rest of the tribe, though. Oh, dear. Oh, Debbie. Um, okay. Who goes home here? <laughs> I, I think it's probably I, one of my guys, honestly. I still don't think my people are... <laughs> the, the only people I... Well, I mean, depends if that alliance is going to turn on each other. Uh -huh. I'd say Brendan is safe. Debbie is obviously safe. I would say everyone else is fair game, but I'd say your people have like a plus one to that. Yeah. Everyone else is fair game where it's like the odds are worse against them. Yeah. But I still feel like it it really just depends. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh I I, I can see a lot of different ways. I think everyone, anyone can go home but Debbie, I think. And neither can Brendan because he plays his idol. Okay. And Debbie plays the idol on Eddie. Well. <laughs> Wait. We'll see. Why on Eddie? I don't know. Bring a goat along. Yeah. First one goes to Brendan. Does not count. Second one goes to Brendan. Does not count. Third one goes to Brendan. Does not count. Four foot goes to Brendan, does not count. Fifth foot goes to Ken. Oh, wow. She oh. wasted her idol. Yeah. I guess, like, in a sense where she was concerned for someone and used it since someone played an idol. Yeah. It makes sense, I guess. But at the same time, uh, but wait, they so voted opposites. Does... Brendan and Ken, um, Bre Brendan and Debbie voted together. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> she knew there was an idol. Uh, was she, maybe I don't this know, is that Goodwill is trying to get Eddie in and being just like, trying to say like, yeah, I'll make sure. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Debbie has a big target on her back. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's gonna That's honestly, hurt. it's gonna be hard for her, I think, to get to the end here. I think, I think that if she, she doesn't has win, to I mean, find that idol again. Yeah, in my opinion, immunity. Brendan wins immunity. All right, all right. There is no idol hidden. Oh, I think this is Debbie's time. And Marcus and Debbie have a major fight. So it's either Marcus yeah. or Debbie. I think it's I think it's Debbie. Mm -hmm. Played an idol on the wrong person. It kind of breaks that little alliance that the four of them had. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, this is Eddie's way yeah. of sliding into the final three right now. Not only that, she's um she's also someone who um has won quite a few immunities and yeah. you don't want to keep those people around especially this late in the game exactly uh first one goes to debbie second one goes to marcus third one goes to debbie 
Fourth one goes to Jeffra. Where did Jeffra come from? Fifth and final one goes to Jeffra. We are tough. What the hell? Who orchestrated this? I can't wait to see who's orchestrating this. Plot. The plot orchestrated this. <laughs> Debbie must win. <laughs> That's what Brand Steel is saying. I don't. I don't. I don't want either of them to go. Okay. First vote goes to Debbie. Second vote goes to Jeffra. Third vote goes to Jeffra. Left. Jeffra goes home. I mean. To be honest, I'm rooting for Debbie a little bit more, but like at the same time, like Chefra. Why? Yeah. yeah. So Debbie voted for Marcus. So if Debbie voted Jeffra and didn't have this fight get in the way, Jeffra just goes, yeah, she it would, would have kept it from even going to the draw. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it would have been smarter because why gamble? Yeah. So Debbie, Debbie potentially could have screwed herself there, but so you know, she's still here. She, if she wins this immunity, I think she uh, wins the game. She should win the game. Yeah, I feel like she's definitely the front runner. Yeah, and let's see who wins immunity. Brendan wins immunity. I think Brendan just sneaks up and wins the whole game. I think he just won the game. I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> The guy where I was like unsure what season he was from <laughs> wins the game. Yep. Uh, okay, well, we see one vote for Marcus. All right. But remember that, you know, uh, I, I, I still think it's, just, I think they're just all going to vote Debbie. I don't, I don't see a reason for That's them to. That's what makes sense. Yeah. That's what makes sense. <laughs> First one goes to Marcus. Second one goes to Debbie. Third one goes to Debbie. Fourth one goes to Marcus. <laughs> We're tied. Mm -hmm. Okay, we get a revote. First one it goes comes to Marcus. down to fire, doesn't it? Second one goes to Debbie. <laughs> All right, Debbie, this is what can put you over. Win this. Win <laughs> this. Win if she can beat Marcus, she wins this game. If not, I think Brendan wins. Come on. Debbie, the tribe has spoken. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I, she played a great game. She's got to come back for all the stars. She's definitely on, on my list, but still... Why? Wow. No. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. That's so. So Brendan Marcus just won the game for Brendan. He basically Marcus is the king maker here. He got to either give Brendan the yeah. win or give Debbie the win. <laughs> Rats. And now look at this, bro. Oh, look, they're all the same. <laughs> we got the, we got the same in the middle. We got the two people I mixed up. We got Eddie, who I forgot his where he was in the elimination order, and you know, in Karamoan. So it's they, like they all look the same. <laughs> did, did I just walk into a cast call? Did I oh just walk God. into a casting uh, waiting room and just, oh yeah, short haired, short brown hair. A uh, white guy around like mid twenties to uh, uh, mid to late twenties to early thirties, like yeah, yeah, they're all the same people. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say Brendan, and Brendan wins by a vote of to seven win. to three. Who got the three? Marcus. Got Dara, Jason, and Ken. That makes sense. Yeah. And apparently Libby wins the fan favorites. Where, where was Libby? <laughs> Let's see where she plays. Where does she was the first she jury was like member? She was like twelve, I think. 
<laughs> she was yeah, she was 13. the first, first jury member is the fan favorite. <laughs> I mean yeah. this season brought us uh it definitely brought some light to some players we haven't really seen, like Jason, like Debbie and Jeffra. Well, we saw Jeffra once, but like yeah. she didn't like shine. Yeah. Uh Brendan did. And I mean, like, just the fact that Eddie has made it this far says a lot. Um yeah, yeah Brendan managing to sneak out a win by kind of just taking out the two biggest threats back to back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and holding and on he, for that. He wins a, he wins a, he won a lot of immunities so too. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. held it all long and played it correctly, which is something that doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, Steve and Sierra's underdog story came to a halt with the purple rock. Yeah. Danger Dave had so much potential. Tragedy of Valley and Dave. Um, Jennifer. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Okay, let's see the summaries here. Let's see, let's see if uh Jason uh has the record now. 28. I think that's it. I think that's tying, right? Kenny was 27, I think. I thought we had a 28. So I didn't, didn't like Kim Spradlin have a 28. I think Kim was 25, and then Ken mm -hmm. just pulled tw just ahead of that. Got yeah, it. Because Battle of or Battle of the Amazons, Kim set the record, mm -hmm. and then Ken, I think in. It was either in Last Chance or All Stars Four. He really stacked uh, the votes. Got it. Yeah, um, but yeah, twenty eight. That's a, that's a lot of votes. Um, Brandon Quinton was the most strategic. Marcus uh, was the second, followed by Jason. Uh, Brendan received zero votes throughout the entire game. Yeah, that's true. That's a pretty. Well, I mean, granted. He he um, played an idol right for that to happen, yeah. but still, yeah, a solid win, uh, all things considered. Yeah, Debbie, yeah. Uh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, De I think Debbie and Brendan are uh, definitely good candidates for an all star. I think Jason is a good candidate. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Jeffra, kind of, I mean, like. Mm -hmm. I really have to see uh, for the next one who pops out because, yeah. I mean, this time around for um, it's season that. three of series two, yeah, like from the first one alone, we already got some really big players. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, not, and we, got, we have to also remember this includes All-Star 6 too. I know, I was about to say, it's just like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a lot of great seasons back to back to back to back. So, um, yeah, there's one more season okay. uh, yet to come. Uh, so there's still more, you know, potential all-stars that are going to be vying for a spot. Yeah. Um, we're not sure what that may be yet. Yeah. We have an idea. It just depends. But, yeah, mm. we'll yeah. see. So yeah, um, that's going to do it for this episode of the Day After Podcast. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed this rant still. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Good. Adios. Peace.